On August 22, 2004, I was struck by a roadside bomb in Mamadiya, Iraq. I was in the machine gun turret of a Humvee and was thrown 20 meters out of the vehicle. I had 45% of my cranium crushed in. My entire forehead, where my hand is, that whole piece is now an acrylic plate. I'm actually the first U.S. service member to lose both eyes in the global war on terror. I had my index finger, my small finger reattached on my right hand, my right hand fully reconstructed. I had my left knee reconstructed. I severed my femoral artery. I went through 30 major surgeries in 12 months, and I spent 16 months in hospitals and rehabilitation facilities before I was even able to get out of the Marine Corps. When I came home in December of 2005, it was like hitting a brick wall. I never had such a difficult time in my life. I no longer had my fellow Marines around me. I no longer had that camaraderie, being able to share my stories with those who had similar stories to mine, those who knew where, where we had been, those who had walked in our shoes. And it became very difficult for me. I started drinking uh, pretty heavily. I got to the point where I was putting down a fifth of Johnny Walker a day. Twenty-two veterans a day commit suicide here in American soil. In fact, last year we lost more veterans to suicide than we did to combat operations overseas. This ring on my finger is my honor ring. When you see this black ring on somebody's finger, you know that they either serve or they support those who serve. I walk by and I see somebody with this ring, I know that that they're there to support me, that they're there um, for me whenever, whenever I need it, and that's empowering. I decided that 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 was not the life for me, that that was not the life of a Marine, that that was not the life that, that my parents had, had envisioned for me. Just because I was blinded in the war doesn't mean that I can't continue to serve my nation. In October of 2013, I met Andy Nguyen and Judd Rogers. They heard my story, we started to talk, and I decided that this was an organization that I wanted to be affiliated. Picked up from Florida and moved out here to Dallas. Honor Courage Commitment focuses on veteran entrepreneurship. We focus on veteran empowerment. We, we work on creating our future community leaders of tomorrow. The mission of Honor Courage Commitment is to create elite veterans through formal education, mentorship, and community service. We believe that that is that that, that type of, of commitment to our country it gives our our veterans of today a sense of purpose. A veteran can always sit back and say, "I did I did what I could do to help our country."